So, hey everybody, uh, welcome to a very informal episode of Game Chat here on Radioactive Inc. I'm going to be doing this while I'm uh, rebuilding coils for my mod because I, uh, I need new ones. Mine were about two weeks old and they burnt through the cotton. So, uh, hope you don't mind, I'm going to be uh, wrapping my new ones while I do this. So, today's topic for Game Chat is Subnautica. Now, uh, we all know this game, we've all, we've all seen it. It has uh, actually become a very, very popular indie game, very talked about, and that that is both good and bad at the same time, because though it is a very popular game, I mean, th this is one of the highest ranking indie games that there is right now, it has sold over a million copies, like, you know, over a million copies, sorry, I'm just, something I had to get off the screen there, well over a million copies mind you. And and that that's great. That's great. But Subnautica, you are doing a very very bad job. Yes, yes. Uh the game the game is updating like, you know, kind of left and right. It's updating hand over fist right now to 3 4 5 6 Sorry, I got to keep count when I wrap these things if I if I lose count, it ruins ruins my whole thing. Now they they are updating hand over fist right now, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it, it's good because you're creating more content, you're giving the players more to work with, uh, more things to do, more more reasons to keep playing, and that that's fantastic. You should always give gamers a reason to keep coming back to your game, especially if you want it to do good. However, bad. Bad reasons for this is number one, I have not seen a single update to patch the issues that were there since the beginning of the game. Now, whether or not this is a fault uh, of the, you know, whether or not you just haven't done it or you haven't gotten around to it, uh, you know, it is inescapable that these issues do need fixed. Now, the game itself, it still plays very beautifully. Some people can work around these issues, kind of you know, kind of jerry-rig the system as it is, but I, I don't see the point in trying to comply with a game that has yet to comply with the players. You know what I mean? Two, three, four, five, and a six. Alrighty. Now, um, I, I've, I'm always on the forums for, for games that I play, just because I like to try and stay up to date, I like to know what's going on, and, you know, hell, even if I'm looking for a game chat topic, you know what I mean? Now, one, one thing that I have seen is a lot of people talking about this save file, uh, like, there, there's an actual file within your save data that you, if you delete it, it clears up your game, uh, and it runs a lot more effectively. Now, my biggest question is, why wouldn't the developers get rid of this file if it's causing so many issues, you know what I mean? I don't think... Why Why is that on the gamer? Like, you know, uh, Subnautica, you, you, have, you have a great game. It's an absolutely beautiful game. It plays amazingly. There's so much to do, so much to explore, all the different places you can go. But why are you putting so much upon the gamers to fix issues that shouldn't be there in the first place? You know what I mean? Now, I, I have Subnautica. I, I do. I'm actually currently playing through it myself. Uh, you know, I have two episodes up right now. Uh, more will come later. Um, you know, as I as I'm able to upload, I'm still kind of working out the schedule for things as it goes right now. But uh, it is it is getting a little uh, a little easier to manage. Now, I, I could say this: uh, there are issues with my game and these these are noticeable issues like they 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 are extremely noticeable oh, fucking hell I, that's probably going to get stripped out eventually oh well the the these are like highly noticeable issues uh you know there are uh, issues with the uh map uh i i can see through the different texture squares like you know the the two pieces aren't lining up accordingly so they sit like this and then when you get close enough, they just kind of snap back into place so they line up. Now, 
I, I used to play Ark Survival Evolved for a little while, and believe me, I was fucking addicted to that game for a while. That game had the same issue when it came out, but as updates came out later and later, they fixed that issue. Now, from what I understand is that Subnautica has had this issue since the game was released and it has yet to be fixed. Come on now, guys. You got a great game, but you can't put everything on the players. That That's, that, that's not how this works. Now, I, I know that you guys kind of are a... Uh, you are an indie developer and you are kind of new to the whole scene, but... If you don't fix this stuff, you guys are going to lose out. I hate to say it. Now, Subnautica has remained, uh, has remained, like, pretty consistent. Like, for, it's been about $20 for as long as I've seen it. Which, I gotta say, that that's really great for a, uh, for a game mm -hmm. like this. I mean, it is, it is early access, so, I mean, for $20, you're getting like all of these uh, updates as they come out, all the new stuff that you can do, the new gadgets they put in, things along those lines. But at the same time, you're also subject to every glitch, every bug, things like that, that have to be fixed later. Now, I don't really mind that myself because I, as you guys know, I also play Slime Rancher, and that game is also early access. So again, I'm subject to bugs or glitches or things along those lines, but I don't, I don't mind that, because uh, when it comes to Slime Rancher, they release patches that fix these bugs. And, you know, then I don't have to come across them later. But, I mean, like, uh, for, for Subnautica, there, there has been the same issue since the game first came out, and that's with Crash Fish Powder and the inconsistency at which it shows up. Like... I, I mean, I, I thought it was supposed to be like, you know, you get it out of the things, but it's like, no, apparently now you get it when they explode, but no, it's like, uh, if you can get them to explode in their home, you get it. it's like, there's so much inconsistency with this one item that you actually need at the very beginning of the game that it, it's, it's, it's mind boggling over how this actually is, is to play about. You know what I mean? <laughs> And, I mean, there, there are other, other things, but they're, 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 like, subtle. They're just kind of, like, hiccups within the source code that maybe the game just didn't catch. But, I mean, like, uh, the Seamoth causing, causing large amounts of lag uh, whenever you use it, that remains a pretty consistent issue. Now, uh, I, again, I don't know if it's because there's a file there that doesn't need to be, or... If, you know, there's, you know, something wrong with the code for it. But a lot of people have experienced this. And a, a same thing with, like, the life pod just kind of drifting away off to where it wants to go. And then kind of drifting back whenever it feels like it. That's also another issue. If it's going to be a static object like the rest of them, then make it a static object and keep it from just floating off to who knows the hell where. Uh... Reaper Leviathans going through rock formations. That remains a very big issue, and uh, one that complicates gameplay for a lot of players, because it's like you could be skirting along thinking that you're, you know, A-OK, -okay, and then BAM! Reaper Leviathan right in your face. Now, I know, I know, like, you know, the Reaper Leviathans are kind of meant to, to be like a little bit of a hindrance as you go along, but you gotta work with the physics. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying this to sit here and just berate Subnautica left and right. I like the game. I really, really like the game, and I want to see it succeed. I truly, truly want to see it succeed. And that, that's why I'm saying all this, because if as long as it's out there and, and they are aware of it, then they know what they have to do to fix it. I, I would love to see this game become something great. I, I actually... I am... <laughs> I am so interested in the storyline and the and the lore that is coming out for this game that I truly want to see how this ends. I really, really do. But you gotta get those bugs worked out. <laughs> you truly have to get the bugs worked out. And that is how you will create a fantastic game. 
Because I, I know this game can be great. I know it can... I mean, it, it's already great. It sold over a million copies. And that that is... That's not a small feat. That's a very big feat for a game to sell over a million units. That's big. That is really big. I mean, for YouTubers, a million subscribers is a huge-ass deal. For a game, a million... Uh, and an indie game. For an indie game, a million copies of that game being sold is a big deal. Now, for AAA titles, I mean, you see that shit all the time. You know, it's, it's nothing new. They have a lot of backers and all that jazz and... But for an indie game, you don't have that. You just have word of mouth. It's up to us, us the players, to spread the word out about this game. And and that's why I'm saying all the things that I am. It's like, it's it's not to sit here and berate you. It's not to make you feel bad about it or anything. Or I'm not downsizing the game in any shape or form. I want to throw out my constructive opinion on what needs fixed and what needs worked on to make the game better. And I, I do believe, like, if even some of the minor bugs were fixed, like, the game would improve just like that. Like, it'd be almost instantaneous. My coals are all done. Don't they look beautiful? I know you can't really see them, but these are nice. These are little six wraps. They look great. But I, I truly believe, like, the game can be absolutely up there. I, I believe, like, when it is finally finished and all the bugs and stuff... It, it, once they're all fixed, I, I believe that this could compete with a AAA title for uh, having, like, uh, a survival game. For, like, a survival game, I believe this could compete with AAA titles. I really, really do. I think it absolutely could. But I... <laughs> but <laughs> just keeps coming back to that again. You gotta, gotta get those bugs worked out, you know what I mean? And I gotta try and open up this damn cotton bacon. Fucking ziplock on its tight. Oh, ah, got it. Ha ha! Can't beat me. So this has been my uh, my definite informal game chat. I will be lining up more game chats later on. Um, don't forget to uh, click that little notification bell next to the subscribe button. Su sus subscribe next to the subscribe button. So this way you can stay up to date with everything that we're doing here on the channel. Also, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe because I, I, I'm changing the face in the way that I kind of do things here and there. Like, I know my previous game chats, I kind of looked at like the real life aspects of the games and then the one I just did like a whole I hate MOBAs thing, which I honestly do. I can't stand MOBAs. I fucking hate them. But, uh, I think game chat's just gonna be, uh you know, games that are worth talking about. So, uh, also, uh, if you <laughs> if you didn't see Character Breakdown, I will leave an end card for that uh, when the video is all said and done. Definitely go check that out. That one was a good one. That was my first episode on how strong One Punch Man really is, and we will uh, be managing one of those a month for now. But, hey, I'm going to stop rambling on. I'm going to let you get back to your lives, so on and so forth. But uh, until the next time, everybody, I'm Fletcher Stump with Radioactive Inc. Signing off.